Hi, this is Jan Leisure, Diamond Residential Mortgage, Lake County Loan Goddess, coming to you in the middle of all the pandemonium and problems that we're having with the stock market and the coronavirus and all the other problems that all of us are experiencing with our families. I just wanted to take a few minutes to answer some questions for you because I've gotten probably 100 questions and phone calls from people from all over the country asking me about mortgage rates, should they buy should they buy their house, should they cancel their contract, should they refinance, should they change from a 30-year fixed to a 15-year fixed. And I thought maybe doing a video would answer some of those questions. And if I don't get to your question, um, just shoot me an email, maybe we can do a Facebook Live and I can answer questions live um, one day next week. But I thought I'd put some rumors to rest and try to answer your questions as best as I can and give some good advice about mortgages and hope that everyone in your family, whether you're under quarantine or you're trying to work or you're a first responder, a doctor, a nurse, a firefighter, a police officer, I just want to let you know that everybody here in our office and at Diamond is wishing you well and we want the best for everyone. And if you're watching this, you're a friend, a relative, a client, and I want to let you know that I, that I love you a lot and you're in my heart and you're in my prayers. So I have a few questions and I'm not going to take a lot of your time, but I wrote some of them down. And these are questions that I got from people. Actually, I do loans all over the country and these came in this week and maybe I'll get to your, your question. And this comes from Miss Jessica in Seattle. Jessica says, can I lock at 2.75 on a 30 year fixed? My sister just did. So the answer to that question is not today. Will it ever happen? It might, rates might come down that low. Um, I have not locked anybody at a, on, a 2.75 on a 30 year fixed, maybe on a 15, probably in the last, eh, maybe in the last 20 years, I don't think they've ever gotten that low, at least not for us. Um, however, um, rates did go back up, so we have a lot of people who are waiting to push the trigger on, uh, on refinances, and we will we'll get to that a little bit later. But I don't think they're gonna come back down to 2.75. What are rates today? This comes from Bobby in Naples, Florida and about 99 other people. So this is a question that everybody asks me every single day and this is a question that I really can't answer. I can tell you that with good credit, um, a healthy debt to income, a reasonable loan to value, and a good credit score, today we could have probably locked you in on a refinance or a purchase at 3.625. There might have been some moments during the day when bonds were up and it could have been a little bit lower, but I will tell you that we ended the day um, not in a very good place and that 3.625 is now 4.625. But does that mean that you're out of luck? Not necessarily and I'll tell you why before I'm finished. Shelly from Grays Lake says, I have a contract on a home that I'm purchasing. Should I move forward or should I back out because of everything that's happening? The only way that I can answer that is to tell you that that's a personal choice and if there's so much turmoil in your life that you feel you can't make the move emotionally, then it, that might be a good, a good decision to talk over with your family. However, if you've got a contract and you're already locked into a really good rate, my advice would be to move forward as long as your house is sold or you're, you're a renter and you don't have any contingencies on your property, this would be an excellent time to move forward with your home purchase. So I would say, you know, don't let all of the turmoil um, distract you or turn you down or make you depressed. I think that you should go forward with your home purchase and feel happy and excited about it. Miss Alice from Lake Forest asks, should I refinance from a 30 to a 15 year fixed? Uh, two weeks ago, I would have said, absolutely, that's a wonderful idea. Right now, what I would tell you is, if you are not in the system and you think that you're gonna refinance and you wanna get a lower rate or you wanna go into a 15 year and change your term or you wanna change into to possibly a 10 year if you really paid down on your mortgage, the best thing that you could possibly do is to get a hold of your loan officer, hopefully that's me, get your application into the system so that we can start processing your loan, not order an appraisal, um, but do collect your information so that we know you're all ready and when rates do come back and the market starts to improve, we can lock your loan. Because if the, if the rate, let's say, is a 3.375 on a 30 year fixed and it's at one o'clock on a Thursday and I start calling people and I say, guess what, it's 3.375, by the time you get your application in, it's probably gonna be higher or the rate will change and, and probably not for the better if everybody's locking and the markets get bogged down. 
So I would say the best thing that you could do is actually be prepared and, and go ahead and move forward. Um, Adam from Kenosha asks, I called nine lenders and I looked online and I got nine different answers about rates were, about rates for my refi and now rates went up and my SOL, that's what he said. So that's sort of out of luck. Um, and the best advice that I could give Adam is the advice that I just gave to the last person and that's do what the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts suggest. Be prepared, get a hold of your banker, fill out the paperwork, get ready, and also have a conversation, have a serious conversation with your loan officer about where you feel um, the bottom is for you. So if you're at 5.125 or if you're at 4.875 and you wanna to try to get a lower rate and you feel that you'd be comfortable at any rate three and a half or less, give your loan officer permission to lock as soon as they can, as soon as they find that rate because everything is digital there's lots of paperwork and, and digital pages that we have to go through in order to lock your rate. And if, they ha if you have confidence in the person that you're working with and you give them permission, they'll get you the best rate without, without lo wasting time and possibly losing that opportunity. So I have lots and lots of other questions that people ask, but I don't wanna take up too much of your time. I just wanna say to everybody, be safe. Um, call people that you, that you trust and that you wanna work with. And hopefully we'll have a Facebook Live maybe next week if I didn't get to your question or maybe, maybe you feel better having an, an ongoing in-person conversation. So this is Jan Leisure, your Lake County Loan Goddess at Diamond Residential Mortgage. You can give me a call at 847-362-1335 or reach out to me online. And hopefully I'll see you next week.